Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Time for another perfume review. And today it is the turn of Izzy Miyake's Low De Izzy. So this is like the original Izzy Miyake perfume. There have been many versions of this, but this is a review of the normal original Low De Izzy. It comes in a very distinctive um, triangular shape. There is a word for the shape it's got a circle base and then it's a triangle, cone, that's it, cone shape, bottle, uh, long and thin. Um, and it is made by the same people that make Jean-Paul Gaultier, Juby Chu, um, Bulgari, uh, Kenneth Green um, perfumery, um, which are a really good make. So this perfume has to be, hands down, one of, if not the most well long-lasting perfume I am aware of. People who wear this perfume, you can smell it on them. Always. You can smell it on their clothes when they haven't even sprayed it on them any time recently. Like, it is a strong perfume and the men's is just the same. It lasts, it lasts, it lasts, it lasts. Spray it on your skin, spray it on your clothes, spray it on your hair, it doesn't matter, you're gonna smell of it all day. Um, so it is a very good the lasting, good quality. Um, so if you like it, it's a great way to get this type of fragrance. So what type of fragrance is it? So this is like an oceanic floral fragrance. So similar to things like Aqua de Gio by Armani, um, Versace's aquatic one, uh, sorry, oceanic one. Um, it's basically like that sort of ozone-y, cologne-y um, smell of like the sea almost, um, kind of like a sea breeze. Um, it's been out for a really long time. It's a consistent good seller. And as I mentioned, there are a million different versions of it. Like there's a rose one, there's a stronger one, there's an eau de toilette one, and they release like summer ones every year, I think. Um, it's also relatively complex. So there are 17 different fragrance notes in here. Um, the main one you get is um, lotus flower and also um, melon, like the melon that you eat. Not that there are other types of melon. Um, there's also in here Lily of the Valley. Um, now I know Lily of the Valley is one of those fragrances that kind of people love or hate, um, but it's in here, it's sort of the third, fourth most prominent note after your lotus flower and your melon. You also have normal Lily fragrance in here as well as Lily of the Valley and also Peony. Um, but what's interesting about this is even though there are, and there are more like frag uh, floral notes in here, even though there are that many, to me, they don't dominate. To me, the dominant smell is that sort of fresh, I guess it's like a lily of the valley, watery almost type smell. It's very hard to describe. Um, you definitely have to go and try it. Um, I'd say it's quite a neutral fragrance in the sense that it's not sweet at all. So it's not like particularly overly feminine, but it's not masculine either. It's just like a fragrance, like the sea, the sm if you're at the beach and you smell like the sea air, that isn't a particularly feminine or male fragrance, yeah, it's just like fresh. So I think this is really good for people that don't like sweet fragrances, they don't want to smell like a big flower or a big sweet or a big chocolate or whatever, or a big like oriental thing. They just want to smell like fresh, neutral, nice, kind of like that clean cotton, like freshly laundered sheets type smell. Um, so it's quite good for people who are that way inclined. And of course, cause it's so good for lasting, then they're very lucky cause they've got a really good perfume here. But one thing is for sure about this fragrance is it is unique. There aren't, that I'm aware of, any other perfumes that smell like this. It's timeless. It's been around, I think since the nineties, like it's a, good perfume. It wouldn't have been around for that long if it wasn't. Um, and they wouldn't release all these different versions of it if it wasn't either. Um, if you would like more rose like fragrance in this, there is like a rose version that they do in a pink packaging. And they also do like an eau de toilette and eau de parfum. So if you find the eau de parfum a bit much, um, then you could go for the eau de toilette. Um, I know some people maybe like start the day with the eau de parfum and then they have the eau de toilette in their handbag to tap, top up over the day so it doesn't build up to become like way too much. 
Um, but definitely a recognisable one. The people I know who wear this and the men's, like, I just associate them with that smell. If I smell it, I immediately think of them. It's like, it just triggers that because they just remind me of it so much because it's so, you always smell it when you're near them. So overall, like, this is a top, really good quality perfume and it's not priced like they could so increase the price of this because it's really good value for what you get it's just a normal average price um i'll leave the link below to it on amazon so you can check it out um but overall like really impressed with this perfume very very good so that is it i hope you found the review useful um if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and i'll leave a link to some of my other perfume reviews down below but that's it so thank you so much for watching and bye for now